Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to use uh, Search Console and key Google's Keyword Planner to help you uh, better develop your SEO strategy and check what's working and what's not. So uh, Search Console, if you've never used it before, there's the uh, URL. Uh, you can just type in, if you want to just type in Search Console like that, um, you'll be able to type get, get there. And you'll need to add a property first. You want to make sure that you add at least two properties for each domain with the www and without it. That's what I do. Um, so you know, and they'll remind you of that. But any any additional domains you have that are uh, living in the same site, you want to make sure to add all of the properties. So I'm going to add a new one now, uh, just to uh, show you how that how you do that using Wix. So first, I'm going to go to my site. This is a blog that I've started helping out on that I built for a friend. Come back here, I'm gonna paste that URL in, I'm gonna hit add. Now it's gonna tell me, okay, I need to verify this. And it, it anticipated the process because it, it realized that Wix is the company I'm using to build the site. So I just need to, I need to copy and paste this. You can read these instructions. I'll just show you how to do it. Um, when you have your site selected, go to manage domain. And under manage domain, go to advanced and you're looking for the edit DNS and you want to add a text DNX, DNS record. So make sure the host is there and the text value just copy or uh, paste that value that you copied in. Go back up and hit save DNS. Now that is going to be good. Right now it won't verify because I just did it, but in a couple minutes it will uh, successfully verify. And again, you'll add both. You'll go and you'll add another property. Um, in fact, let's do that. Let's do that right now. Let's go to Search Console again. Let's go ahead and add that other property just so you see what it's like. And I'm going to add it, but this time I'm going to take out the www dot. So it's just that. And it's going to say the same thing. Um, of course, we're, we're doing this process right now. So if we go back to Search, search Console, what you'll see now while it's waiting to be verified, you'll see the not verified tag. Okay, so uh, you can go to uh, verify this property and it's going to take you back to that page. And again, right now it's going to take a few minutes for it to verify. So just be patient. Don't don't think you've done anything wrong. That's just the process. We'll come back to it. Um, for now, I want to show you what uh, how you can use those two tools, how you can use Search Console and how you can use Keyword Planner to, uh, to do SEO. Um, okay, so Search Console is sort of a, def the way I would think about it is a, it's sort of a defensive strategy. You can also plan your offense using Search Console, but it really shows you areas that you've done well in and maybe areas, maybe that are surprising areas that you've gotten clicks from. So let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick a property, I'm gonna pick my uh, seafood market friend and I'm gonna to go to search traffic, search analytics. From here, I'm gonna select my date range to the last 90 days. I wanna get a, a wide range of data. And I start to get some pretty interesting data. This, what this is telling you is these, these are the, 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 the queries. So basically, this is what people typed into Google. And this is how many times that led to a click to our website. So seafood market Panama City Beach is killing it. That's our number one search term. So we need to make sure that we defend that, right? I, said, I told you it was a defensive strategy, or at least I use it like that mainly. I need to make sure that I am really, my site's really optimized for seafood market Panama City Beach. Well, we know we've already done that, um, but just new pictures that I upload, I'm gonna tag those new H1 tags, etc. I'm gonna make sure to defend that ground. Another thing I want to show you is look at the next three. They're all tied to our name, Local Steamer Seafood Market. So these three are very telling. This is a result of our marketing efforts, right? We're out, we're handing out flyers, we're talking to people. We say, hey, go check out Local Steamer. They remember the name Local Steamer. Maybe they even remember Seafood Market or that it's in Panama City Beach and they type that into Google. Um, and then, of course, that's pulling up our site. So these are really a result of, of marketing, which is crucial to, uh, to SEO. So I have a video on just how crucial that is. Uh, check out my SEO playlist for that. Um, now, 
the, uh, the, the, the next thing you can do is you can kind of scroll through here and see all the different results. You can change this down here to, to show all 500. Uh, you'll notice that you'll get, to a, you'll get to an area where you have a bunch of zeros and you're like, well, why are those showing up? Because I didn't get any clicks. Well, it's because they were still typed in. People still typed in Buddy Seafood Market. And when you type that into Google, um, Local Steamer shows up on that page. Now, people that are typing in Buddy Seafood Market are probably finding what they're looking for without clicking on our link. But this, uh, believe it or not, this gives us some, re so this one, Restaurants on Front Beach Road. I haven't optimized that at all, but maybe it would be worth it for me to spend some time optimizing. As you see, we don't even show up on the first page. So the fact that we showed up on anybody's search results at all means that uh, maybe a lot of people are typing that in. In fact, we can go and check check just how, how many people are typing that in using our uh, keyword planner tool. Um, but, but my point is this, guys. Maybe we just discovered something in Search Console that says, hey, I need to optimize because our restaurant is, in fact, on Front Beach Road. Maybe this will help us and give us a clue as to people are typing this into Google and if we showed up high on the list, maybe the first or second or third page, we might get some traffic that way. So because I haven't optimized this key phrase at all, it might give me some, um, some, you know, some hints as to what to optimize. So that's how you can use this. You can also use some of these that have one click and two clicks because that means, uh, like Seafood Panama City Beach, that means that we showed up somewhere on that. In fact, we've done really well for Seafood Panama City Beach, Florida, even though we're a seafood market, we're coming up naturally there, organically, a number two spot. So we've done really well to optimize for that phrase. Um, and we could probably do better. We can probably uh, increase that. But but so that's how you can use these lower level search queries to, to actually help you build your SEO strategy. And then of course, the top, uh, maybe 20, where, where you're actually pulling quite a bit of clicks, you need to make sure that that, is, um, that that ground is being defended. Okay, so that's why I, in the beginning I told you this was what I use primarily as a defensive tool, but as you can see, there is some offensive strategies you can develop there as well. Okay, now let's go to Keyword Planner. So Keyword Planner is, is a really cool uh, tool. If you don't know how to get there, um, here's the URL up here. In fact, you can just type in Keyword Planner and I think it's going to be the first link there. And now since I was just there, it's going to try to repopulate probably the data that I was using. Nope, it's going to let me start over. Okay, good. So I'm going to search for a new keyword. And I'm going to do seafood. And I, I need to put in my landing page. So I'm going to go uh, grab my URL real fast. So I don't got to type that in. Okay. Put my landing page, my product, while well, I'm in, I'm going to guess, let's see if they have food and groceries, online grocery shopping and grocery delivery, food, and do they have seafood? What I do a lot of times is try several different categories because a lot of times, like the last person I was just working with, um, they didn't perfectly fit into a category. Um, so I had to try different ones. Like in this case, we could be in shrimp and crab. So I might try both of those. So just keep that in mind. Selected locations here. I have a lot of these already selected. Um, so that's fine. These are just local areas. You can remove these. You can um, add more that are nearby. How, the way that looks, by the way, is you just click nearby. It's going to bring up this map and it gives you an idea of where you're, where you're at. Okay, so I'm going to get some ideas. When this loads up, this is going to tell me for the last year basically how many searches. Uh, so seafood was searched quite a bit of times. And in fact, the average was 210 So for, uh, per month for that search in my area. Uh, but now I want to show you this part because this is where it really gets, where it really gets valuable. So fresh fish market. What it's telling me is right now there's low competition. This means, you can, you can read that of course, but this means that this might be a good area if I wanted to bid, if I wanted to actually advertise on Google using AdWords, 
this would be a good um, phrase to advertise because there's not a lot of competition. Um, now, in our case, we don't actually have a lot of fish at our restaurant, so we're not going to use it. But um, but that that's kind of how you how you think about it. Again, this is fresh seafood market is even better, and it's low competition. So you really want to stay away from the high competition when it comes to bidding, when it comes to actually uh, spending money on on bids. Um, but you can see you can get a lot of cool results for average monthly searches here. Uh, mail order seafood, seafood distributors, shrimp for sale, fresh shrimp. Um, you can see that there's tons of phrases that you can then go and use on Wix. So let's say that I really like this fresh seafood market. It's got 50 average monthly searches and it's low competition. Okay, so what's next? Well, now I'm going to go to my uh, editor. I'm going to go into my site to edit my site. And I've shown this shown this strategy to you in another video before, um, but for those of you who haven't seen that, this is one way you can do that. So again, what was our what was our 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 phrase? It was fresh seafood market. Okay, add. So we're going to add fresh seafood market into our site in a few different ways. One way is you can do hidden. If you go to the text here, do a site title which is H1. This is H2, H3, H4. They're all good site titles is where we want to be right now. I'm going to add this over here to the side and I'm going to edit that text and what we'll, we're going to type fresh seafood market. Make sure I got it right. I can make this text a lot smaller so it's less likely people are going to actually um, find that text. Let me make sure I did that right. Okay, there we go. So you see I have fresh seafood market. I'll just make this black for the time being so you can see it. And then you can go ahead and add in your other optimal keywords, whatever they are. Let's see, let's add one more just for the sake of the video. So frozen seafood, buy seafood online. Hmm. Buy fresh seafood online. I like that one because that de describes our uh, our restaurant we do sell online so buy fresh seafood online make sure that's good okay now I'm gonna go back and make these uh, white so I don't take away from the design of my site I don't want it to uh, actually show up on people's screens and I want to make sure that it didn't mess up my mobile view so in this case where did that text go there it is down there. That's fine if it's on the bottom. I don't mind. And I'm good to go. So now I can publish that. Just so you know, I'm going to refresh this site. Just, just how it shows up on the site itself. If I come here, you see it right over there. Hidden. Okay. That's one way you can do SEO. Um, using those keywords. Of course, another way with Wix is to come straight here to come um, switch mo switch your editor view, of course, to come here and do page SEO. And then now we know, and I've already optimized this and we're doing pretty well, so I'm not going to change any of it because there's, there's limited characters you can type in. Um, but if you just found your key phrases and you want it, that's where you type it. You type it in the title, you type it in the about, and you type it on the keywords everywhere. You'd even shorten this URL. So you know what? I don't even like this URL because it just says online ordering. I'm going to type in online seafood ordering. In fact, I'm going to change it just a little bit. I'm going to guess how people would type it in. Order seafood online. I'm going to guess that that might be even more popular. And then I go to publish. So there's there's a couple of t uh, hints and and uh, trip tricks. So again, Search Console. Let's ver let's make sure this is verified, and it is. It's finally gone through. Search Console. Just to uh, do a quick recap, when we go there. What we're, what we're seeing a lot of times is where we've done well, and then we're also getting some, and where we need to defend, of course, and we're also getting some ideas about maybe uh, potential areas where we can gain some ground. We go to the Keyword Planner because Keyword Planner is really going to show us, okay, 
what have people actually been searching regardless of what we've optimized for. So this this could, uh, if you were just starting a site, I would maybe start here. I'd start at Keyword Planner. I'd get your list of 20 to 30 search phrases and words and keywords. Uh, then I would build your SEO strategy, and while you're de while you're designing your site, I'd incorporate those phrases and those keywords and your tags and your picture titles, uh, right? Just everywhere Wix has to offer. So you do it here. You do it on actual picture title, a uh, picture um, descriptions, which I don't have any pictures on this page, or I'd show you, but I do have pictures on the about. So let me just show you that. So if I come here and I go to change images. Right, each of these pictures has an opportunity to optimize for SEO. And you need to take every single opportunity. So maybe you just want to throw in your different uh, key phrases and picture titles. That, that's one more way they can get pulled up on Google searches. So guys, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. I hope you were blessed by it. If you have any questions or uh, if, you, uh, if you just want to uh, comment on the video, use the comment section below. If you liked it, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you next time. All right, bye.